City South Manchester was born out of a stock transfer from Manchester City Council in June 2008. We took over 4,500 previously Manchester City Council homes as part of Manchester's housing strategy to divest of their homes to community-based not-for-profit housing organisations. I came in here, I think it was early 74, so it's, what, 36, going on 37 years now. I've been at Westcott Court for about 15 years now. You feel safe in the block, so, you know, you, there's like one way in and one way out, and that's it. I wouldn't want to live on the ground, you know, and the views are really spectacular. I enjoy looking out. I enjoy living here. The flat's a nice basic layout and comfortable place to live once you got it right. It does feel safe. The blocks are coming up to 50 years of age now. The big problem with these blocks are they haven't been watertight and it's been very difficult to even find out where the water comes from and to fix it. We decided the best way forward was to give the structure a warming, weather protective rain screen coating. The only solution was to overclad these blocks to make them watertight. But what we've done in looking at that was to make them a statement about a quality place to live, a quality place in Manchester. We want to make them warmer, new security arrangements in here to make them safer, doing up the insides to make them modern, friendly, hospitable and a proud place to live. This outer shell contains five inches of insulation which will benefit the tenants in reduced heating bills. It's a lot, lot warmer than it was. Normally at this time of the year I have the heating on, you know, the storage heaters turned on and I haven't put them on yet. It is warmer. I haven't had the heating on in this flat all year. It's even more quiet now. Now we've got these new windows. I think it, you know, it's already showing benefits. Really, it just feels cosier, and it's nicer to look out and see the other buildings looking the same. The cost of doing this work to the highest specification is about £1.7 million per block. There's no point investing in these unless we manage them properly and we manage them jointly with residents. So we've recently taken a decision to ensure that each block will have a dedicated caretaker. Never had a caretaker like that before. Ramesh always knocks, is there anything you want? Can I do anything? It's really lovely. I'm a plasterer. I do support services with the labourers. I'm the site surveyor, so I'm in control of the cost for the project. I'm a resident liaison officer for Waits. It's about the residents, really, keeping them happy. It's always a challenge working with residents living in the flats while you're doing a refurbishment. We've, we've tried our best to sort of keep them informed and keep the works down to a minimum as much as we can. Yeah, it's getting there. The players, obviously, when they see the end results, the windows, the, the outsides as well, and just how it's all coming together. The feedback from the majority of the residents are that, yeah, it really is somewhere where they will have that sense of place and a new identity. It's been working well. They keep in contact with you, they tell you things. So I'm quite happy with that. It's been <laughs> very noisy at times and very dusty. At times the whole flat's been disrupted. Well, when it first started, it sort of went from home to a building site. They've informed us of everything that's going on. And, and the lads that were here doing the windows and everything, they were so polite. They didn't make any unnecessary mess. So having them here was like good company. Given what they've been doing, it, I, I'm amazed how well it's gone, really. It is a very innovative project, and they're trying to do something a bit different and really give the wow factor for these blocks. As it's progressed, people have said, well, this is really making a difference. It looks as good as anything else around here and anything else in the city. General views we've had up to date is it's better than we thought. I feel, as a team, we've coped well with the hurdles within this scheme. And I've been delighted with the way that we've managed to work together to solve problems, but not lose the quality of what we wanted to do, and more importantly, not lose sight of the residents in that process.
The blocks are right at the end of Deansgate, Manchester's main thoroughfare. They're a gateway into the city and an important symbol of Manchester. And what we've done with the investment we bought there is change Manchester's skyline. And more importantly, have brought up the quality of accommodations for our tenants' lives. And the investment we've put in there are really to make our blocks the same quality as the private sector blocks opposite that have grown up over the last 10 years. In my opinion, the blocks we've got and the conditions in them are better than those. I used to feel quite envious of the buildings that were going up around and thinking, oh, it must be really nice to live somewhere like that. But I feel prouder to be here than I would be over there now. It looks more stylish outside than I thought it would. When my friends come and they see what's happening, they say, oh, Chris, this is looking really good. Yeah, it was a flat, now it's an apartment. <laughs> I am really delighted with everything. I'm very, very proud to be here and be part of it.